everybody, Johan Magnuson here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're making an amazing dish. We're making sous vide kangaroo loin with cauliflower puree, port wine reduction, and pickled blackberries. There are two things we need to do the day before. You want to place a cup of organic blackberries into a jar, and then you want to cover them with some strawberry rosé vinegar. Put on an airtight lid and place in the fridge at least overnight. Then it's time to prepare the kangaroo loin. The first thing that I like to do is trim off the edges so they get a little bit more uniform in shape. Then you wanna place them on and roll them up in some plastic wrap. And then you need to tie both ends and shape them into a nice cylinder. Then it's time to set your immersion circulator to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna vacuum seal the kangaroo loin, drop them in the water bath, and cook them for at least 12 hours. It's been 12 hours, the kangaroo loins are cooking along nicely, so it's time to start preparing the port wine reduction sauce. The first thing that you wanna do is add a cup of port wine to a hot pan and then reduce until you get a glaze. Next, you need to add two cups of red wine and reduce that down to a glaze as well. Then we want to add four cups of beef broth and also three tablespoons of demi-glaze. And then we're gonna reduce this down until you have about a cup of port wine reduction sauce. Next, it's time to prepare the cauliflower puree. So start by trimming two small orange cauliflower heads. Then you wanna add two tablespoons of butter to a hot saute pan. And you also wanna add one sliced onion to the pan. Then we're gonna cook the onion until translucent, two to three minutes. And then we're gonna add the trimmed cauliflower heads. Next, we need to add two cups of heavy whipping cream. Then we're gonna put on the lid and let this simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. It's been 25 minutes, so now we wanna add a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're also gonna add about one tablespoon of turmeric to bring out that yellow color even more. Then it's time to bring out the immersion blender and then we're gonna blend on high until we have a smooth puree. Cauliflower is ready, so now it's time to finalize the kangaroo loin. Remove them from the water bath and cut open the vacuum bags. Now you wanna roll them in a mix of cracked peppers and flaky sea salt. Then we wanna add about two tablespoons of duck fat to a hot saute pan, and then we're gonna sear the kangaroo loin on all sides. We're just looking for a nice browning of the meat because the kangaroo loins are already cooked. Then you wanna remove them and slice them into thick slices. Now it's time to plate the dish and start by adding some cauliflower puree to the plate. Then you wanna place some blackberries around the cauliflower puree. Next, add two slices of the kangaroo loin and then drizzle with the port wine reduction sauce. Last but not least, we're gonna garnish with some broccoli sprouts and then it's ready to serve. And that is my favorite way to cook kangaroo loin. And I think the only thing left is to try this and see what it tastes like. So here we go. Mm. The kangaroo melts in your mouth. You get the creaminess of the cauliflower. You get a tartness from the pickled blackberries and then a savoriness from the port wine reduction sauce. I hope you try this at home. Man, it's so good. Happy grilling.